The 15th World Chess Champion Vishwanathan Anand's loss against Russian chess grandmaster Yevgeny Nair is one of the biggest upsets of round one of FIDEchess.com Grand Suisse on the Isle of Man. Hello chess lovers, Suren here and in this video we are going to cover that same game. I have to tell you that when facing strong opponents, Nair seems to play with a doubled motivation and if you remember, he even knocked out Fabiano Caruana at the 2017 FIDE World Cup. But before starting our game, make sure that you are subscribed in order not to miss my future uploads. In this game, Nair is playing with white pieces and he opened up with d4, Anand responded with knight f6, c4 e6, knight c3 and bishop b4. Anand goes for Nimzo Indian defense, here we have e3, black castles kingside and bishop d2, not the most popular move, bishop d3, knight e2, knight f3 or a3 are considered to be more popular alternatives but in our game we have bishop d2 with which Anand is supporting the knight on c3 not allowing black to damage his pawn structure on the queen side d5 by Anand, knight f3, b6, rook c1, bishop b7, c takes d5, e takes d5, bishop d3, bishop e7, another popular alternative is a6, which is actually more popular, but in our game we have bishop e7 and white castles kingside, knight d7, knight d5, we see the exchange of knights on e5, and after knight d7 we have f4. Now let's take a look at the position. White has a massive pawn structure and if he can push it forward and make use of it then black can face serious problems. Also white has a nice attacking bishop on d3 square and has a nice potential of switching into the attack the queen and the rook. If white can bring into life these ideas then victory is just a matter of moves but of course Anand is a strong player and he managed to fight back. Anand played knight c5 and after bishop b1 he played d4. He is going for a breakthrough in the center of the board which can neutralize white's attack. Of course in here capturing on d4 is not good because this can give too much activation to black pieces. That's why after d4 Nair played knight b5 and d3 by Anand with which he is getting a powerful passed pawn on the third rank and is neutralizing the light square to bishop. Though the downside of this d3 move is that this is making the pawn somewhat vulnerable. Here we have knight d4 and already white is threatening a move like b4, targeting the pawn on d3, that's why a5 was played by Anand, queen g4, g6 and f5. Nair is playing very aggressively and Black has to make precise defensive moves otherwise can find himself in trouble. In here Anand played knight d4 but this is a mistake. Instead it was better either to play h5 or queen d5. Keeping an eye on this g2 square. If f6 then h5 and then bishop d8. The players have equal chances, but in our game after f5 we have knight e4. With this move Anand is attacking the bishop on d2, but instead of thinking about defending that bishop, Nair went for bishop takes d3 and sacrificed e. All Anand could do was to accept the peace sacrifice, but now once white is managing to open up his, his bishop's diagonal, black's king side trembles. Here we have f takes g6 and after f takes g6 we have bishop takes g6, a move which is just asking itself to be played. Anand didn't accept the peace sacrifice, instead played king h8, but let's take a look at other variations as well. If h takes g6 then queen takes g6 check is coming and then knight e6 jump is allowing white to win on the spot or after bishop takes g6 if Knight takes f1, then again knight e6, and white is not only attacking black queen, but is also threatening some unpleasant discovered checks. Or after bishop takes g6, if rook takes f1, then again, like in the previous line, this knight e6 is winning. Black is in trouble. Let's go back in our game after bishop takes g6, Anand played king h8, and another powerful move, bishop takes h7 with which white is removing the last defender. 
rook takes f1 check rook takes f1 now if knight takes f1 then bishop g5 is winning that's why anand played bishop g5 trying to neutralize white queen and at the same time attacked the pawn on e3 but now comes knight f5 white is not only putting his knight on an attacking square but also is protecting his pawn queen d3 by anand and rook e1 bishop takes e3 check king h1 right now the threat is queen g7 checkmate that's why anand moved back his bishop on h6 and queen g6 which is an inaccuracy instead it was better to protect the bishop by moving it away on g6 and now already the threat is knight takes h6 if queen f3 which is a very beautiful tricky move then simply knight takes h6 and this is going to be winning for white but in our game after bishop h6 we have queen g6 now white is threatening queen f6 check followed by queen takes h6 and then checkmate but the problem with this move is that this is allowing Black to pull out a brilliant defensive resource and Anand went for bishop takes g2 check. King takes g2, well, queen takes g2 is the most accurate move, but even in this case Black is managing to fight back and Black is nearly managing to equalize the game. Here is one of the possible lines which can arise. But in our game, king takes g2 was played, and the problem with this move is that by going for queen f3 check, Anand could equalize the game. But in a time trouble, he missed this complex line. Still, I have to tell you that the position remains highly complex, guys. Anand played queen d5 check, and this is already losing. Here comes king h3, queen d3 check, king h4, and finally Anand resigned. If a move like knight f3 check or i don't know queen d8 check then simply king d5 and the one who is in trouble is black king you can't move away your bishop because there is a mating threat and black is actually suffering heavy losses that's why understanding that his position is hopeless after king h4 anand resigned during the post game interview when nair was asked what was the first moment in which he knew he was winning he answered just when he shook my hand, not before. Yes, guys, this was such a tense battle that only after Anand's handshake, Naya realized that already he won the game. Well, in the end, let's also solve a chess puzzle, which is actually very easy. The task is to find that winning move for white. It's white to move and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. In the end, here are more suggestions for you. Feel free to check them out as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.